you know those moments when your dad would ask you to like hold the flashlight while he was like repairing the car and you just always got it wrong like your you know your hand kept shaking you kept moving around too much the flashlight wasn't even on whatever what if there was a way to just weld the flashlight onto the car so with an empty project open you know just go ahead you know run studio let's um you should see your beautiful character this is mine i love it um and what i want to do right now is click on part awesome so the game should be running right now you should be like walking around and in here you have a part so uh click on move or command and two like so and then if you notice yeah there we go so if i move the part up it just falls right bam bam but so what if i want this part to move along with me so whenever i move the part also moves this is where we add a weld constraint weld constraint awesome like so now the weld constraint needs two parts so the first part is going to be this part right so you click on part zero and then you click here and you click on the part then i want it to be my head so i'm gonna find the head here uh, which is this, and then part one will be the head. Awesome. There we go. I mean, this is this is it. We we just we just managed to successfully weld a part. How cool is this? If I jump. Oh wow. Yeah. So Roblox physics are a bit wonky at times. Um. But like, how cool is this though? Look at this. Oh wow. I love this. So, you know, let's stop the game. And, you know, like the part that we just created and the will detector are, aren't here anymore because when you, when you like add something while the game is running, it gets deleted uh, when you stop. So I will add in the well detector and I'll just quickly go about some of the parameters that it has. So it's really not that much, just whether it's enabled or not. And then the two parts. So uh, part zero and part one don't actually matter. Like it, like the order of these parts doesn't matter. Usually it's just like part zero is the part that kind of like is the main thing. So what I like to do is part zero is the part that, that's actually like moving. And then part one is the part that's going to be following, right? So for example, uh, part zero, like I, I know I, I did part zero as the part and part one as the head. But like in a real game, what I would do is I would make part zero the head and then because it's 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 the thing moving and then part one, the actual part. So, you know, for a bit more um, examples, I think what we could do is let's make a script in server script service like so. And what I want to do is whenever the whenever like a new uh, player joins, right, we're going to make a new part. We're going to add a weld detector inside that part. And then we're going to position the part to be above the player's head. So let's just do game.players. Um, I think it's player. Yes, player added connect function. So whenever a new player joins the game, it runs this code and it gives us the player variable. So you know what we're going to do? First of all, let's just make the new part, right? Um, local new part equals instance dot new part and then here we're going to parent it to the workspace um and let's see so what do, what do we also want to do is actually wait until the player character loads so I, i'll actually i'll just cut this and i'll just say player dot character added connect function character so character added a uh, character so player is like the kind of like the the data of the player and character is what we actually see inside of the workspace right so we want to make sure that the character is fully loaded before like adding any parts to it right so then when the character is loaded that's when we you know make the new part that's when we make a new weld constraint so i'll just i'll just name it weld uh instance dot new weld constraint and then i will parent it to the new part awesome and then we'll take this new part and then we'll say new part dot position equals character wait for child head dot position and then we'll just make it plus um 
vector three dot new zero to zero. In case you don't know what a vector three is, it's basically it's like just three numbers. It's an x, y, and z. And so positions are also x, y, and z. And so all I'm doing here is just saying, okay, so the new part position is going to be the head position, but then we'll just make it two studs higher. So two studs above the head, right? And then we'll say weld dot part zero is going to equal to character wait for child head. And then the weld dot part one is going to equal to the new part. And I think this should work. Beautiful. Awesome. There we go. And if I reset the character, for example, um, let's see what happens. Awesome. So it spawns a brand new part and it's on my head. How cool is that? And then if I wanted to, I could tweak these values as well. So I could turn this into a seven. So it's going to be higher. And then I could do this a two and make this like a five, whatever. And then the part is just going to be at like a, yeah, so the part's here now. But as you can see, it is welded to the head. So whenever the head moves, the part moves in the same direction. Whenever the head rotates, the part also rotates in the same direction. This is the power of weld constraints. And by the way, weld constraints, how they work is that like, you, we can't really push this part closer to the head, nor can we push the head closer to the part. They are set at like a, at like a certain distance, right? So for example, if like, let's say there was like a roof right here and I tried to jump, but like the part was touching the roof and I tried to jump, I would not be allowed to jump, right? So the, the, the space between both welded parts have to remain consistent. So that, that, that's basically it, you know, that's, that's weld constraints for you. So I'll remove the script. Um, I'll give you a, a little fun, uh, a little fun challenge. Make a weld constraint inside this spawn location and then you know make the um make the part one the spawn location and then make part uh zero the i don't know let, 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 you, you you can do it like you can like run a game and then you could create a um like a weld constraint here and then part one is going to be the spawn location and then part zero is going to be the the player's head right so you can go to workspace find your character you know, find the head and then just uh, so, uh, like assign the head as um, the other part of the weld constraint. Again, you know, just to recap, I'm probably dragging this on for way too long. But again, you know, enabled part one, part two, or I guess part zero, part one, like it's stupid. I don't know. Just the first part, the second part, you know, doesn't have to be ordered. You can if you want. I'll delete this and we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.